Hey, Peer Soul members, welcome to the month of February. Thank you for being here with me today. The tarot card draw for this month is the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands tells you that your insights and your accomplishments and the way that you have prepared yourself over these years give you the opportunity to kind of take on a new task, to take on a new project, or to try to start to redevelop the solar plexus and add new things in there that you can use as a description of yourself. You've come a long way up to this point, and everybody knows that. And people see and recognize your successes and the things that you have done in your life. Um, they know that you've used your talents and they know that you used your talents wisely. If you'll notice that the red robe, hat, and garment uh, in this tarot card, what they, what they show is like a mastery of the root chakra, demonstrating success in, in life. So literally the world is in the palm of your hand. Uh, you have the ability to know how to achieve greatness. You also have the ability to command a team and to bring that whole team team to a successful end result. So if this is the time where you've been thinking of starting a new business or building that addition on the house or learning a new language, these are the things, just examples of some things that could actually bring you to that growth and that inner growth that you might be seeking because after everything that you've accomplished, you might be feeling a little bit like board. <laughs> the gray walls on the two of wands demonstrate that things lately for you have been feeling like a bit monotonous. And so our goal is to kind of try to shift that a little bit so that every day doesn't feel like um, Groundhog Day. <laughs> you spent really the majority of your time dedicated to accomplishing your goals and to completing those goals that you have set before yourself. So much so that you may have isolated yourself a little bit away from people and you may have kind of come into yourself while you've been working on these projects and, and careers and families and whatnot. So you might be feeling a little bit lonely if you've kind of tried to um, make sure that you're accomplishing like everything that you've set out to do. So that's a little bit difficult sometimes when we are super hyper focused in something and we start to notice that the world around us gets quieter and quieter and quieter. And that's just because God sometimes gives us time to really focus on the mission at hand. And then once we are in the, like the momentum of things, we can start to view the world around us again. So let yourself do that. You've really been working hard. So don't forget to have some fun with yourself. This card really, really wants us to embrace new things and to kind of get out of that monotony. There's um, the cross on the left pillar that has little roses and lilies on it. The lilies symbolize the success that, that has left you like free from wanting anything. So if you think, oh, maybe I've made it in my career, so is there really anything that I want for that is obtainable through the successes I already have? And what you'll tend to notice is that from the focuses that you have, you are finding success in those things. So because you're finding success in those things, it's like a place of abundance. So you keep thinking like, well, what can I do with this? What more can I do with this? What more can I have because I've done all of these things? And you'll find that the more and more you try to do that, the less and less fulfilling it will be because our goal is to create new successes and to do new things and to look for the abundance in those places. So that's something that um, is a good thing to take a look at this month, that the things that you have already accomplished, they may not be as fulfilling because you've kind of gotten what you needed out of them. So now uh, you have the roses left. So now that you have what you want, 
the roses tell you that you are ready for more knowledge, more experiences, new relationships. It's time to have fun. That's what we want to do. Okay. We want to have fun. We want to un-isolate ourselves. The orange garment under the red robe symbolizes that it's time to dive into the self and develop a deeper connection with yourself in a sense of maybe you've been really super hyper focused on the physical world. Maybe you've been on a diet or working out or trying to build um, better nutrition habits. And so that would be more of a physical effort. Now that you've done that, now do the deep dive into how did that result for you? Not in the physical sense, not from working out and all of that, but what did it do to your body and soul relationship? How much better do you feel in your friendship with yourself? So kind of review some of those things too of, hey, now that I've now that I've done all these things and I've accomplished all these things, maybe it's a career. Maybe I did great in my career and I have enough money that I really don't desire anything outside of myself. Then I can't really buy anything else. Okay, well, that's the root part of it. But what if you did the sacral part of it, the relationship part of it? What if you dove deep into you and you and how did the success you obtained at work or in your career or going to the gym and dieting and getting better nutrition habits how did that effort change who you are to yourself and what you feel about yourself because a lot of times when we're putting out so much effort we're waiting for the outside world to kind of validate us back and let us know that we did a great job we forget to do that within ourselves. So that's one of the next um, suggestions from the Two of Wands, to make that commitment to yourself and to bettering your life and your inner feelings and not worrying too much about how the world responds to some of your um, successes. So if you're thinking about going back to school or changing jobs, starting a new relationship, starting a new business, looking for that better new nutrition in your life, now is the time to do that, to jump in with both feet and to appreciate yourself. I appreciate you. Um, thank you for joining and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.